Thank you. Uh, there is, of course, an easy solution. Uh, you can make me win one of those uh, in the future, and I'll be, I'll be back, I'll promise. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, and it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here. Um, it's wonderful to be here for the Heineken uh, Award. As you all know, we have two awards every year. One is the Heineken Award, and the other one is the Anne Frank Award, and they basically represent the two pillars on which our foreign policy in the Netherlands uh, is based. And the two pillars are trade and human rights. Uh, and I'm, I'm proud that we do that, and I'm proud that uh, we have always been able to find excellent candidates uh, on, both, on both accounts. As you know, the Anne Frank Award always goes to an American organization or person, and we alternate uh, the Heineken Award. One day, uh, one year to an American, the other year to a Dutch. I'm very happy uh, and honored to uh, be able to give my last Heineken Award, so to say, to a Dutch CEO uh, of a company that has really made uh, a big impact, I think, here in the United States. Going back quickly to the Heineken Award and to, to Freddie Heineken, it was very interesting to hear your stories, there was one thing missing in a way, is that when he Freddie Heineken was sent here, he was basically a failure. Uh, this was the place where you would send those people who didn't really do well in the Netherlands, and then we used to say, send them to the colonies. We don't, didn't have very many colonies anymore after the Second World War. And this was as close as we could get in view of our history with New Amsterdam. And, said, okay, well, you know, you sent them here. And, uh, and the nice thing, of course, is that he was a roaring success here. He increased the output of Heineken, I think, in his first year with more than 250%. And despite all his uh, misgivings and, and all his struggles, he, made, uh, he laid the foundation of a very successful uh, Heineken operation. And uh, that's exactly what we honor in our recipients, uh, both uh, American and, uh, and Dutch. Um, Alex Wijnands and Egon has been very, have been very successful. I knew Alex Wijnands would be su successful because I knew his father. Uh, and his father was one of those, we have them in the Foreign Service, we have a number of icons whose names always are being relayed uh, to others as, a, as an example, and uh, Alex's father, uh, Henry Wijnands, uh, was our ambassador for a long time in Paris and was a legendary uh, ambassador. So I knew that uh, two things, A, Alex had good genes uh, and, and had diplomatic skills, uh, and B, there is a future for uh, children of diplomats, uh, so uh, <laughs> which is for me personally uh, was a uh, was a comforting thought. Um, I had the privilege of um, witnessing and being here last year when the prime minister came to visit uh, President Trump, um, and there were also two things that I uh, remarked. And the first one was that the president was much better. Um, in the conversation with the business people than he was, uh, so to say, in the private conversation uh, in the Oval Office. He basically lightened up and uh, you could see that this guy is a businessman and you could see the interaction uh, with uh, the businessman. And the second thing was, I can tell you now, Alex almost sold uh, the pyramid in uh, San Francisco to uh, the president who was wildly interested in this p peculiar building and uh, we, at a certain moment we got to, ter to talk about if the building was uh, earthquake proof and how much uh, the square foot went for in the building and then we basically said well you know what let's just, let us move to another subject but <laughs> we, we were close we were close this was it could have been the new Trump Tower uh, but then in San Francisco but uh, it didn't happen. Why is the Heineken Award important? Uh, the Heineken Award is important because, as I said, we are trading people. Uh, and the transatlantic 
trading relation is of utmost importance and too few people realize that. You read about China, you read about Asia, but too few people know or do not know uh, that 50% of GDP in world trade <coughs> is the transatlantic relationship. Uh, too few people know that if you look at European investment uh, in this country, it's eight times European investment in India and China combined. Uh, too few people know that the United States invests three times more in Europe than in China. This is still by far the most profitable, the most, I think, tight economic relation uh, that there is. And, it's, and it is so also because we have a long history together, we have a long history of trade together, we share the same, and we always say that we same the norms and values we share, uh, and you might make light of that, but in the end that's what really, really counts. And I think Alex Weyland has been a very personal CEO uh, of, uh, of Egon. Everybody I talk to is, tells me that, that he has been the one, and that might have been his dip diplomatic father, he has been the one for a personal contact, for a handshake, for somebody who said, okay, I have to be able uh, to talk to uh, people in order to, to do business. He has a wide array of functions he still has in, in the Netherlands, being uh, honorary, uh, being for, for NGOs, uh, and that also attests to where Alex Wijnands is in the landscape uh, in the Netherlands. If you are like uh, chairman of the board of the Rijksmuseum, then there is more to you than just being a businessman. You value your place in society, in Dutch society, and you know that you have, as a CEO, you have a certain burden that you have to carry and you have to lead uh, in that field. So that's also something that we are looking at uh, and that's also something that we think is, um, is typical of somebody to whom we want to award the Heineken Award. You're, you're a little bit more than just the CEO of a very successful company. Uh, you're a bit more than a CEO of a company that is as successful in Europe and Netherlands as it is here, and maybe even more uh, here. Uh, is, company that's rooted in both sides of the Atlantic, a truly transatlantic uh, uh, company, but you also that little bit more, that little bit extra that says I want to take my place, my responsibility in the world I'm living in, and I think that is something that Alex Reynolds is a very fine example of, and that's why I'm very honored, Alex, to um, bestow on you, you cannot bestow, but to give to you the Heineken Award, you are a very worthy recipient. Thank you very much.